the Senator Black, why won't the Senator, why won't the Senate vote on impeachment and gay marriage issues? Well, the first point related to impeachment. <clears throat> and you must know that impeachment, as per Constitution, must begin in the House. So, let the House do what they want. If the House wishes to impeach the remaining four judge, judges, go for it. Once they're impeached in the House, they leave that position. And actually, should that occur, the governor then would appoint people to sit in their place our Constitution, as relates to that, is hanging by a thread. Uh, as relates to the issue of gay marriage, same-sex marriage, this has been an extremely difficult issue for me. I was born and raised in the West. I came from a pretty conservative Republican family. During Vietnam, I changed my party um, affiliation. I go back to the point where am I here, do I accept this responsibility, position, as a say, true voice of people, or do I do it from my conscience after evaluating every segment I can? And folks, I look you all in the eye and in your heart and tell you I do that. Because many days I think, what an honor to be one of 50, to be a voice of people in the Iowa General Assembly. But we're not all going to agree on every issue, are we? We will not agree on every issue. And you have to accept that. It occurs whether it's city council, or your board of supervisors, or at the Congress of the United States, and what's transpiring in the world. The reason that the issue of same-sex marriage is not, and will not, be debated in the Iowa Senate is because under our system of government, the majority leader of the respective house has the authority, whether it be in the states or in Congress, to determine the agenda of what shall or shall not be debated. And so you can have the House passed, as they just did with H.J.R. 6, and it passed 62 to 50, 49, right? 30, 37. Okay. It passed. Mm -hmm. And it comes to the Senate, and this gets back to her original point earlier of in the Senate, there was the opportunity to pull things out of committee and force them onto the floor. That's not true. And I'm not calling you a liar, naturally. I'm just simply saying that's not the case. I served in the House 12 years. When every controversial issue, someone would stand up and say, I move to spend the rules to do this side or the other thing. We would spend our entire day with people suspending the rules and the majority party voting that down. The Senate Minority Leader Republican, Mr. McKinley, Paul McKinley, made the statement following the rule, not change, but verification in the Senate that why is everyone so worked up about this? Because 
whether you maintain the current <coughs> rules or change the rules, it's not going to change the way things done. The majority leader, you could pull a bill from committee, it would go on the calendar, and the majority <coughs> leader still makes a decision as to what the agenda will be <coughs> and what will be debated. All due respect, sir, um, you're talking about committees, subcommittees. This bill, it's pointless to even go into committee. I was in the debate when um, House Joint Resolution 6 was being debated, and Representative Masher, Democrat, said, don't worry, I know you're going to pass this today, but Gronsdale will not debate this. Uh, don't talk about committees because it's not, I mean, it's not even, that's not the point here. The point is that you are referring to your conscience and that you're voting by your conscience. You're supposed to be our voice, not the voice instead of us. You are our voice, and instead you're using, you know, I mean, Representative Pearson is trying to hand the decision back to us so we can make the decision. You're saying, I know better than you. I'm the voice instead of you. You don't have a say. You're saying, your voice doesn't matter. My voice is what matters. Yes. Yeah. 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 I didn't really say that. But what I said was the fact that the question asked was, why is it not voted on it in the Senate? And my point is because the majority leader will not allow it. Don't you have, have you spoken with them about it? Do you believe that we have the power to vote? Do you believe that we should decide? You have the power to meet with him. He's, I'm sure he's your, you know, he's your comrade. You work with him. You interact with him on a daily basis. You have the power to go to him and say, "This is what needs to happen." Many of the have been asked to simply get the issue over with. But what's your conscience say on the issue? What's my conscience telling me? Yeah, sure. Happy. A yes or no? Simple answer. Happy to tell you. Are you no, I'm not going to give you an idea. I don't want to speak. Point of order. The issue of same-sex marriage has been a difficult one for me because of the way I've got what's brought up. I have to shave every morning and look myself in the mirror. And frankly, I was in support of of passing the right for the public to vote. It's been over a period of years. I voted for DOMA. Do you know what DOMA is? You should. Defense of Marriage Act. I voted for the Defense of Marriage Act. And then I started thinking about my background. Second most important man in my life was my brother-in-law. My wife and her family came from Utah. Very, very poor family. My wife's father was born in 1882. My wife's grandmother <coughs> passed over the plains with Brigham Young. So you can see, he sired her when he was 62, and he, there were three younger than she. So the family was raised by the oldest man, David, wonderful man, and we did not know he was gay. Few families, very few families, do not have a gay person somewhere within their families. One night, 1984, I received a phone call and David had been murdered. What had happened was two drug-crazed kids from California came to a bar at the head of Ogden Canyon, in Ogden, Utah, went into the bar and said, we want to trash a queer. And it so happened there was someone in there that said, well, my understanding is that blonde man who lives just up the street is queer. So they went up and broke into David's house, 
took him, <coughs> took him up Ogden Canyon, broke into a cabin, tied him to a chair, cut off his finger to get his father's ring, poured gasoline on him, and burned him alive. And they then returned to the same bar and were bragging about it, and there happened to be two plainclothes policemen. And they had these two in route to the police station already acknowledging what they did. <coughs> Death penalty is Utah, firing squad. This was just after Gary Gilmore had been shot. And my mother-in-law went before the judge and she pleaded with him. And she said, it is not in our faith that these two should be taken. Please give them life in prison without <coughs> parole because at Point of the Mountain Prison in Utah, it's hell on earth. And that's where they sit today. So, I think of David again. What a wonderful man who raised my wife's family, nine children and hers, and from a previous wife, nine others. Seventeen brothers and sisters, eighteen total. I've had to deal with the issues related to my church. I'm a Mormon. And the Latter-day Saint Church feel that one man, one woman, one time. One time. We don't take in our vows till death do you part. Our vows state simply for time and eternity. You really better make sure you make the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> After giving significant, substantial thought to the issue and the fact that I, my friends, and I'm telling you simply my feeling, the Supreme Court made the decision for me. Anyone in here with a background in jurisprudence should well know, understand, and accept fact that, and those who have taken a basic civics course, that we have an executive, a judicial, and a legislative branch. The governor implements the law, the legislature creates the law, and the judiciary interprets the law based on the Constitution. When you have seven individuals who, following Judge Hansen's decree on DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act, passed in the late 90s, and by the way, Matt McCoy, a gay member of the Senate voted yes. Tom Vilsack voted yes. I voted yes. Most did. Judge Hansen then ruled that that was unconstitutional based upon the, the, uh, what's the word? Pardon? Yeah, equal protection issue. <laughs> And then, of course, it went to the Iowa Supreme Court and seven individuals, two of whom are individually very anti-same-sex marriage. All seven voted unanimously based upon their calling and the oath they took. And therefore, I've given this issue more thought than most people, because most people were right there immediately, immediately with an answer. And I would say then, in a final statement, finally, you asked for yes or no. Yeah, you're yeah. doing a great job. No. I appreciate your answer. <laughs> that uh, those of you who support same-sex marriage, God bless you. I have no hardness in my heart whatsoever for the way you feel, because that's what makes America great. 
But when we do the Pledge of Allegiance, liberty and justice for all, and so many things that we do, and I'm a writer, I've written so much, I mean, a lady here wanted a book, here's my latest book, and I deal with the issues that relate to the Civil War, the Blacks, the Times, the inequities, the historic facts and details related to why we have gotten to where we are today. And we're different, we're diverse. And I think back over my work worldwide and work in so many states in this United States for the U.S. Forest Service, USAID and other groups, that when has a gay person ever adversely affected me? I cannot think of the time. So with that, I'll stop and... Can I turn this into a one simple question that won't take very long to answer? Yeah, and then we do have to get back to some okay. Just a, a pretty simple question. First of all, you mentioned the Pledge of Allegiance, and I will state that the Pledge of Allegiance also says that it's under God, that, that being the key issue. Um, the, the, the question that I have for you is, you represent thousands of people who aren't asking you to specifically, many of them are, want you to take a stand one way or the other. What they're asking for is a chance to vote. So my question to you is, will you go to Senator Gronstall for the people and encourage him to let us vote. I have. And his answer was no. Okay. Will you do it again? Will you continue? Why? Because we're not That's giving the point. up. Yeah. Because we're not because giving up. Have a right to vote. We have a right then to vote. Then elect people to get this path to the Senate. Which is you, why you we have which is why time. we have three judges who are no longer judges. But we'll get to that. The people have a right to vote. Our constitution, everything about our government was established for the people. The government's authority doesn't usurp the people. So our question is, will you go again? Because we want you to. We want you to continue to go. I don't want you to. The vast majority of that. There's a lot of Not the people that know anything about There's a lot of us that think that history, we should do business. I would, would you have a... Okay. Would, would you have the people to sign? Next question. Next question. I do have a lady back here that has a question. I just have one thing to say. I think a lot of people here are trying to judge other people, and I think if you're a Christian, you and you look in your Bible, it says that God judges people. The fact remains that you stood up here in the, year, the beginning of your speech and you did say that you were representing the people because of your conscience. And, and, his, conscience. and his conscience. Um, and the people, mm -hmm. and the fact remains that there is a, 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 a a law, which you stated, DOMA, out there on the books, but there is also um, a, a, a um, sorry, having a hard time. There's a uh, decision that was handed down by the Supreme Court, and they are in conflict with each other. And all anyone here wants is the right to vote. So because you stood up and stated that you're here representing the people out of your own conscience, we just want to know why won't you go to Gronstall and say, let the people vote. My dear, how many times do I need to tell you that I have? And the issue of representing the people can get to be a pretty subjective thing because you get calls, you get emails, you get personal contacts, letters, both ways. And that'll come out in a vote. 
Our grant. That would come out in July. Right. So that's the whole reason that they want the opportunity to vote. Because both of those sides would come out on the vote. And that's why they're they want. afraid to vote because they know how to vote. No, I would not say that the predominant number of the contacts I received 